Well, all new at six, the Waymo self-driving car is taking another step towards opening up service to the general public by launching what they're calling Waymo One. Waymo has been testing their driverless cars for two years in the East Valley, and Team 12's Mike Gonzalez is live in the Alert Center to show us the next step in self-driving service. Mike? Hey, good evening, Kariba and Mark. Today, I talk with the head of Waymo's product team about what this next step really means for you and the ability to get into one of these driverless cars with confidence. Waymo has been testing driverless cars for two years now in the East Valley, first with their own employees inside, then select families. Now, Waymo is testing a ride hailing service that's being dubbed Waymo One. It allows riders to um, request a self-driving car 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's across a territory that um, hits on Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, and Tempe. The Waymo One self-driving service and their app will eventually be available to the public, but for now is only open to the 400 people who've been a part of their early rider program that launched in April of 2017. The cars will be manned with a safety monitor, but the vehicle will operate in autonomous mode. They love being part of improving road safety. They love that experience. Waymo vehicles have been a part of a number of crashes, including this one along Chandler Boulevard in May, but police say none of those accidents have been Waymo's fault. And Uber suspended its self-driving cars after one of their vehicles hit and killed a pedestrian in Tempe, even with a safety monitor inside. Police say the safety monitor was watching a TV show on her cell phone, and the car didn't automatically stop. Is there a rate that, um, let's say that the guy in the passenger seat has to jump in? I mean, because from what I understand, you guys are way beyond, in terms of safety, beyond Uber's technology, and that happens a whole lot less often for you guys. Is that something that's true? So we've been really proud of the progress we've made um, uh, in terms of constantly improving our software. So that's definitely true that we're, we've continued to steadily make improvements and that's also folds into kind of our incremental launch plan. How do you guys guarantee safety in driverless cars? Safety is at the core of what we do. So we've driven over 10 million miles on public roads in autonomous mode and we've also simulated over 7 billion miles. No matter what you think of self-driving cars, Waymo says they're here to stay and more driverless vehicles will be a part of your driving future. So we're focused on self-driving technology to really um, build a, a car that can um, never get distracted, never get tired, uh, see hundreds of yards in every direction and always makes the, the safe choice. So they will definitely be out there, folks. Waymo will be expanding the number of people who can ride in these driverless cars. To sign up, I put a link on 12news.com where you can apply. Guys? All right, fascinating.